Don't have sex in bars. Just drink, have fun, and go home. The best way to get a drink or a shot for free is seeing someone that comes in often and tips us well. If you treat us well, we treat you well. It's really that simple. Be a big tipper. I always remember people that tip big. I always get them a shot or buy them a drink. Learn the bartender's names, like get to know them when it's not super busy. To make a connection, like we're more likely to share a drink with them. The worst way to get a free drink is to ask for one. By the way, I can give you other stuff for free other than free drinks. A lot of times I will get you free food or snacks, something like french fries. That's a total lie. Uh, asking for no ice or less ice does not change the other ingredients of the drink. Nothing else changes. You're literally just getting less ice, which is exactly what you ask for. I don't know, less ice just means disappointment most of the time. You mean because you get less in the cup, or you get a smaller cup, unless you tip and then that changes everything. When customers ask for like a stronger drink, I just put like two or three drops in the straw just to make them think it's stronger. Just It kind of burns the back of their throat real quick. The amount we put of alcohol will be the same no matter what you ask. You can always pay for a double shot or you can have the cup full of ice and then it's less mixer, which will make the flavor of the alcohol stronger. It sounds like they want something strong, but they don't want to pay for it. If you want a strong drink, just order a double. This. this, this is my number one pet peeve. Yes, I see you, you're there. There's people that are also here waiting for my attention. This is not helping your case. When people say, oh, just fix me something that like your favorite drink to have. No, what I like is not necessarily what you're gonna like, it's not necessarily what your best friend's gonna like or what your mom's gonna like. Most of the time I'm just gonna end up giving you a box of soda with splash of cranberry. If you wave your cash or snap at me or do anything obnoxious, anything that like you as a human being would find annoying, you're gonna get less attention. If you snap at me, you're not getting served, like point blank and the period. It's always the people that like schmooze you. Those are the worst tippers. Your compliments and like your love for me doesn't pay my bills. The best way to get a bartender's attention is to look at them and smile. It's like, I mean, when you meet somebody for the first time. The best way is just to look like you're ready. Most of the time bartenders are scanning their section of the bar um, to see who's ready and who's not. So we're always looking for you. Don't worry, if you'll stand there waiting, catch my eye. Make sure I saw you and then you're good. Patience is rewarded behind the bar. Wait your turn, don't worry, I will get to you. You will get your drink, you'll be fine. Nobody's gonna say no to like a handshake with something in it. Cash is always king, like always tip cash. If they did a really bad job and you didn't have a lot of fun, give 10%. If they were fine and you were kind of okay, give 15%. And if they did a good job and you had a good time, you should give 20% tip. It's a decision that you make. 20% is a good place to, to start. <laughs> Do I drink on the job? No. Yes, always, every single time. I like to call it quality control. Oh my God, you kind of get me fired. I used to, a lot. I can finish a whole bottle of Jameson before I even sell one. I make more money not, though. <laughs> I just want to make you happy. Drink what you want to drink, and if I can make it, I'll make it for you.